Hello there, my name is Andrew, and I'm here to confess, OnlyFans is ruining my life. If you're unfamiliar with it, OnlyFans is a social media platform where creators can sell content directly to their fans. It's known for its adult content, and that's where my story intertwines with it. I am 52 years old, and ever since I stumbled upon this platform, my life has been at a standstill. It's been like quicksand sucking me deeper into a world that I never planned on being a part of. From the outside, it might look like any other digital platform, but for me, it became an addiction that started to consume my every waking moment. The allure of explicit content, the thrill of interacting with creators, it was all too intoxicating. And before I knew it, I was spiraling down a path of destruction. So how exactly did OnlyFans turn my life upside down? Let's delve into it. It all started at work in the office where I once held a decent position. You see, I was a respected professional, a man of dignity and responsibility. But the lure of OnlyFans, the thrill of forbidden fruit, proved too strong to resist, even in the confines of my cubicle. One fateful day, my boss walked in on me, caught in the act of indulging my unhealthy obsession. The shock and disgust on his face are etched into my memory, a reminder of the shame that followed. I was fired on the spot, my reputation in tatters, my career in ruins. The whispers and sideways glances from my colleagues as I packed up my desk still haunt me. That moment marked not just the end of my job, but the beginning of my downfall, a spiral that seemed to have no end. Losing my job was just the beginning of a steep downhill slide. With no job and an addiction, my financial stability started to crumble. I found myself caught in an endless cycle of spending. Each day my bank balance dipped lower as I poured money into subscriptions. I was no longer just paying for my living expenses. I was funding my addiction, and it wasn't cheap. The allure of exclusive content, the thrill of the unseen, it all came with a hefty price tag. Soon, my savings started to dwindle. I was living paycheck to paycheck, and then there were no more paychecks. My credit card bills piled up, and the late payments began. The interest rate soared, and I was drowning in debt. My financial security, the result of years of hard work, was slipping away. This was the cost of my addiction. Not just the tangible dollars and cents, but the price of my financial independence. But that wasn't the worst of it, not by a long shot. Money, they say, comes and goes. But relationships, once broken, are hard to mend. The addiction to OnlyFans didn't just drain my wallet, it began to corrode my personal relationships. The woman I loved, the one who'd stood by my side through thick and thin, was slowly pushed to the periphery of my life. The more I was drawn into the virtual world of OnlyFans, the more I drifted apart from her. She'd warned me, pleaded with me to quit, but the allure of the online sirens was too potent to resist. One day she'd had enough. She left, leaving behind a hollow echo of what our relationship used to be. I was left alone, with nothing but the cold light of the computer screen for company. As my relationships fell apart, so did my focus and determination. The world outside of OnlyFans became a blur, a distant reality that I no longer belonged to. And then began the downward spiral, masturbation, drinking, smoking, and even prostitutes. The allure of OnlyFans had opened a Pandora's box of illicit desires and destructive behaviours. It was like a wildfire, consuming everything in its path. My life was no longer my own. I was a puppet to my addiction. The spiral started with the seemingly harmless act of masturbation. It was my escape, my moment of pleasure in a world that was rapidly losing colour. But as the days turned into weeks and weeks into months, I found myself needing more. The virtual pleasures of OnlyFans were no longer enough. I needed the real thing. That's when I turned to alcohol and cigarettes, hoping they would numb the burning desire within me. But they didn't. Instead, they added fuel to the fire. I was losing control. My hands would shake with the need for another drink, another smoke, another glimpse of the forbidden. My body was becoming a battlefield, paying the price for my addiction. I was constantly tired, my face was pale, my eyes were hollow. I was a shadow of my former self. And then the unthinkable happened. I started seeking the company of prostitutes. I was so desperate to bring the fantasies of OnlyFans to life, to feel something real. But every encounter only left me feeling emptier than before. It was a vicious cycle. 
The more I tried to fill the void, the deeper it grew. My mind was not spared either. The guilt, the shame, the self-loathing, they were my constant companions. I was drowning in a sea of regret, but I felt powerless to stop it. The addiction was bigger than me. It was a monster, gnawing at my sanity, my health, my dignity. My addiction was no longer just about OnlyFans. It had become a monster consuming my life. The downward spiral had taken me to the darkest corners of my soul, and I didn't know if I could ever find my way back. The worst part of this entire ordeal was the distance it created between me and my family. As the days blurred into nights and my addiction consumed me, I could feel the ties that bound us unraveling. My mother, the woman who had always been my rock, my guiding light, could barely look at me. The disappointment in her eyes was a dagger to my heart. She couldn't understand the hold only fans had on me, and truthfully, neither could I. I missed Sunday dinners, family celebrations, and even forgot my own sister's birthday. I was so engrossed in this digital world that I was neglecting my real world, my real relationships. I was becoming a stranger in my own home, an outsider in my own family. The isolation was unbearable, but I was trapped in a cycle I didn't know how to break. I was losing everything and everyone that mattered to me. I stand before you today, a man ruined by his addiction to OnlyFans, seeking your advice and help. I've bared my soul, shared my darkest secrets, and exposed my deepest regrets to you. It's not a story I'm proud of, but it's my reality, a reality that I'm desperate to change. I'm lost in this maze of addiction, and I'm reaching out, hoping that someone could guide me towards the light. I'm not asking for sympathy, but for wisdom. Wisdom from those who've walked this path before me and emerged victorious. Wisdom from those who understand the psychology of addiction and can offer practical steps towards recovery. I need your help, your advice, your suggestions. How do I fight this addiction? How do I reclaim control over my life? I'm a man on the edge, teetering between despair and hope. I hope that by sharing my story, I can prevent someone else from falling into the same trap. Please share your thoughts and advice in the comments below.